Garden Warfare 2, and today we're just going to be comparing the corn versus the rose. Now, as you can see in the freaking title, it says corn versus rose, and you're probably wondering what's that mean? Well, we're going to be comparing our, my my two favorite characters. Yes, that's right, favorite characters, the rose and the corn. And I wanted to see which one was better. I'm going to be going into private play on normal difficulty, first as the rose, then as the corn. We're not counting the streaks, we're just counting the kills. I'm going to try as hard as I can equally for both of them, and it's going to be Great White North and Gardens and Graveyards. And by the way, guys, there will be no fa no uh, none of me talking, because if I want to go as hard as I can, I need to concentrate. And guys, I was thinking about writing music in the background, but I didn't really need to for this situation here, because... Well, like, it's kind of going to be hard to do so, but we're going to be testing out the rose first, then the kernel corn. No mistakes, no mess ups, and I'll see you guys after we com after we complete rose.
All right, so that's the rose. The rose is officially done, but uh, I'd most likely say my experience with playing as hard as I can with the rose is I did pretty good for being an offensive rose, to be honest with you. I got a 10 kill streak as my highest one and 24 kills. Now, at the same time, even if Colonel Coin does get more kills than the rose, you have to put aside the fact that Colonel Coin is meant to get the kills. Rose is meant to be sort of an assist character so other characters can help. And most of my kills there that actually were assists were actually me assisting other players and also assisting myself. So the Rose is more of a character for me to be a defensive and also a helper to my team, which I don't have a problem with. But now we're gonna play Colonel Cord and then afterwards we'll compare the results and it doesn't matter about just kills, it's gonna matter about the defensive and everything. All right, I'll see you when I'm done with Cord.
Right, so guys, you're probably wondering why did I move the back to the backyard? Well, I was hoping that I could still get the same amount of time on the corn as I could as the roast. Now, we could clearly both tell that the corn is gonna get more vanquishes, because I was getting vanquishes left and right, and it was pretty good. So, we, in all honesty here, the corn is better for attacking. So, let's compile the data that we have so far collected. We have collected that the rose is more of an assister, and the corn is more of an attacker. Now, the rose is better for a person who likes to assist in their foot in their friends. Like, let's just say you have a group or something, and like, let's just say, like for garden ops and stuff. Rose would be a great character for garden ops because you could like freeze the boss, like you could like slow down the bosses while your friends shoot at them. And let's just say you wanted a group in multiplayer. Well, you can help them out with time snare and goad fire. And even if you're just online with random people, you could still assist your team, your teammates by sticking together with one of them. Corn, however, can be on its own. When I was playing the corn, I felt like I was a little bit, I wasn't as afraid to attack. Like, you could clearly tell. I even went in for one, one of the kills that got too cocky and tried to kill, a, take down a mech. I almost got away though. But when I'm a corn, I feel like I'm more safe and I can hold my own. When I'm a rose, I feel like I always have to be near sunflowers or something so I can actually get some kills. Now, as for accuracy, I felt like I was hitting more bullets with the corn, and that's because his bullets are skinnier and travel faster. The roses, however, do not travel so fast, but they still have a little bit of homing, which still helped me with my accuracy. Now, as for the damage, they both did about the same amount of damage, but at the same time, rose did less damage, but... It, it was slower, the, uh, the, move, the attack was slower. This corn was, this attack, the bullets were just a ba ba ba, and then the rose is like ba ba ba. Like, both characters are so unique. So now let's talk about what, like, what I, my personal opinion on who is better. My personal opinion on who is better is Rose, and here's the reason why. See, when I was playing Colonel Corn, I felt like I died more, and in multiplayer, that's not gonna be good. You see, I was only on private player. Imagine if I was on multiplayer. On multiplayer, the only thing I, my only hope of escape is the husk cup. But in multiplayer, the my I have other hopes of escaping, like go to find them and running away, time snaring and standing still, time snaring and running away, slowing them down. Like I can always get away from a situation, and I could stay alive much longer and get a better kill streak. Now with Colonel Corn, however, you don't usually need to escape as much because. You're, such, you're like a tank, so you don't lose health as quickly as the rose, but you do, however, are a target. Like, when you're a corn, you, you, you cannot tell me right now that you are not targeted as a corn and you're targeted as a rose. Like, if you play a rose and then you play a corn on multiplayer, you're gonna be targeted when you're a corn and not as much as when you're a rose. And, you, and like, it, fe it seems to me that Rose is more capable of, like, helping your team out for a win here. Like, when I was with my team, I was able, like, in the circle to damage many, many, many opponents at once with the Arcane Enigma. And also, the fact is, I can help my team so much. If we're playing an objective-based game, and they're coming for the flag or whatever, then I can just time snare the middle and go to fight them. So they're pretty much useless. And then once my team starts coming back to the circle, we kill them all by that time. And of course, if I don't have any of my abilities and all I have is arcane enigma, enigma, I can go straight to the middle, try to battle as many opponents as I possibly can and try to stay alive. So, and then with Colonel Corn, however, Colonel Corn doesn't really help with much of the abilities. I thought Huskop would be much more useful because, but in multiplayer, people don't usually line up for a Colonel Corn and just Huskop them. No, no, no. It's much harder to land those kind of attacks. So, in my opinion, I'd say Rose, but if you're on, okay, if you're a person who wants to just run and gun for the attack and doesn't give a crap about what happens, Colonel Corn is for you. If you're, a, if you're a type of person who wants to, like, stay back with their team and possibly stay alive more and have more on the defensive side, then Rose is your character. Well, that was Rose versus Corn. We're gonna actually be doing more of these series. The next one is going to be Pea Shooter versus Chomper, uh, which is gonna be quite interesting, I, I must say myself. Like I said, we're only comparing basic characters because of the fact that not many people have other than basic characters. Once we run out of basic characters, we're gonna be using um, the actual versions, like Rock Pea and stuff. But actually, I just now changed my mind. I wanna do a Zombies team. So for the next one, we'll do Foot Soldier, and we'll do... Foot Soldier and you know what guys? Uh, no. Foot Soldier and Imp, we're gonna compare those two next. Foot Soldier and Imp is gonna be quite a 
big road to do foot soldier and imp so yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for new. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new com of my new uh, content. By the way, now this you know that Rose is my favorite. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll be doing more videos like this. And make sure to comment down what you think I should do for a Versus series. Because I actually wasn't planning on this being a Versus series. But you know what? Why not make it a Versus series? And you guys can comment down below what you want me to versus with. But the next one will be Soldier and Imp. Alright. And I might change it up from the Imp though. I'm going to think about it. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Last time saying goodbye. Make sure to subscribe. Peace out.